Mega peanut butter M&M's. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are mega M&M's. They're apparently supposed to be at least 55% larger than the average M&M, especially this type, the peanut butter ones. They're always fat. The standard ones are fat. Mega M&M's, there's quite a bit of history about them. So let's get into it. So the very first iteration of Mega M&M's came out during the Shrek 2 theatrical release in 2004, which they were called Ogre Size M&M's. And during that release, there was the milk chocolate version and also the peanut version. There was no peanut butter Ogre Size M&M's. Apparently, they were a big hit. And since Shrek 2 hype was down, well, they wanted to rename it something and release it still because people liked it. So the next year, in August of 2005, Mega M&M's hit the market for the very first time, and it was still in milk chocolate or peanut varieties. Now, this first iteration of Mega M&M's was marketed towards adults. You know, there are bigger M&M's for adults. And these M&M's came in different colors as opposed to the very, very colors of the rainbow style. The colors of this first release of Mega M&M's came in teal, beige, maroon, gold, brown, and blue-gray. Now, it's a little bit hard to pinpoint exactly when this first release of Mega M&M's got discontinued, but all signs point to around 2007. They lasted for about a year and a half. Then also in 2007, Shrek the Third movie came out, and with that came another promotion of ogre-sized M&M's. And with this ogre-sized M&M's release, peanut butter ogre-sized M&M's came out, which was the very first iteration of what these are right here. So essentially, this isn't a new item per se. It's under the mega name, but these are ogre-sized M&M's that were released originally in 2007. And then we get to early 2014, where mega M&M's hit the market again with the flavors of milk chocolate and peanuts. And this time, there were no adult-themed colors. They were the standard classic colors that any other M&Ms are. That lasted until 2016, and they were discontinued again. Now, finally, in March of 2024, Mega M&Ms Peanut Butter Edition are hitting the market once again. There's no other flavor. There's no milk chocolate Mega M&M's. There's no peanut Mega M&M's. It is specifically only peanut butter, which they have been doubling down on this flavor since the better half of, uh, you know, 2023. That's when they released peanut butter M&M's minis, and yeah, they're, they're really going hard on the peanut butter. On the official website, it reads, Calling all peanut butter lovers. If you thought M&M's peanut butter had big flavor, get ready for a mega upgrade. New M&M's mega peanut butter candy packs, the ultimate peanut butter punch with more peanut butter. Now, I've never had mega M&M's in my entire life. These better be huge because they're, they're mega, you know, but it feels like in this bag, there is a lot of air. Like literally where this line is, there are no M&Ms at all. Like it literally starts almost right there, really. It's like the Lay's potato chips of M&Ms. All right, so first we'll open up the mini M&Ms. It looks like right here we got a ghost one. All right, we'll open up the standard size. All right, so looking at the standard ones, I mean, these are pretty huge as is, you know. But now let's see how big these are. Okay, well, they look like peanut M&M's more than anything. They're about the same size, really. They may look larger because maybe they're just stretched out into a football shape, but I don't really know. You take a look at the standard one side by side, and I guess, yeah, there's a bit more, but not that much. These definitely really aren't mega. For some reason, the mega M&M's have a matte finish to them instead of the standard kind of sheen polish the regular M&Ms have. I don't know what's up with that, but anyways, let's uh, try 
the standard M&M. Hmm. Perfect perfection. 10 out of 10. Now let's try the Mega Peanut Butter M&M. Mmm. Mmm. I have one that was shattered, I guess, and tumbled with half of its shell. <laughs> let's see what that tastes like. Mmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Mmm. It packs, packs with flavor. Now, let's count. I ate one and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen mega M&Ms in one pack compared to, I don't know, what a standard one, two, three, four. All right, so in the mega size, you get about sixteen. In the standard size, you get about 23. But don't let those numbers confuse you because you look at the net weight, this one's 1 1.63 and this one is 2.83. So yeah, you get more M&Ms, but these definitely do feel very heavy. So I'm gonna bite these in half and show you exactly how much peanut butter there is in here. There's the standard. Mm. And this is the Mega. There is a lot of peanut butter in this thing. Mmm. I'm gonna eat another one here. Mmm. It's like Saturday morning cartoons when I would grab a char jar of peanut butter, sit down, watch cartoons, butter knife, scoop it up, eat it. You get that authentic peanut butter taste, and it's very full. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to do it too. Mm. That is so good. That is really good. Mm. Mm. I don't know, there is something about the standard size peanut butter M&Ms too. It feels like they bring a saltiness to them more than the Mega. For some reason, I, I can't question, figure out why, but it also feels like the regular peanut butter M&Ms have a much thinner shell. Like these Mega M&Ms have a harder crust to bite into. Yeah. Regardless, both of these are on point. The mini, eh, they're all right, but they're not good. They're not good as compared to these two. But as I'm eating either one of these, to quote Chad Kroger from Nickelback, I am so high I could hear heaven. And whatever you pick, I will say, is a winner. But if you do wind up getting yourself a mega version of this, you are not going to be disappointed because mm, it really does feel like you got a big spoonful of peanut butter right out of the jar and you get this salty, sweet, creamy, peanut buttery taste that mm, is perfect. So would I recommend the mega peanut butter M&M's? Absolutely. Just know that this is just a sibling of the regular original M&M's peanut butter edition where the shell is maybe a little harder, maybe because this is the bigger brother and it had to, to, you know, deal with uh, being the oldest maybe. But uh, the, it's, it definitely packs a punch with the peanut butter. I just wish that these were a bit larger because the original milk chocolate mega M&Ms claimed to have three times as much chocolate as regular size. I wish there were three times as much peanut butter in this, but it's only about twice as much. So that is how big these are. If you were ever wondering, there you go. But 
as I always say, the peanut butter M&Ms are always going to be the greatest of all time, the GOAT of M&M flavors. And the Mega M&Ms is a, a great addition. I'd love to see these out uh, permanently. I think they are, I don't know, but I guess they are gonna try to at least. And I'd rate these a 10 out of 10, yeah. I'd recommend them, pick them up if you do come across them. They are a great solid choice. The peanut butter mega M&Ms, I give a 10 out of 10. It's kind of an easy thing. You could have guessed it before even clicking on the thumbnail, but mm, you never know. You always gotta try it out. These could have been absolutely horrible. As I do give these a perfect score, I will say though, if you did have bigger expectations, like I kind of did, yeah, just, just lower them a little bit, try them out, and you'll realize, oh, these are still very, very impactful with that peanut butter. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this cheat day review. I am DJ Glowing Eyes, always wanting to remind you that it is okay to cheat every once in a while. Peace out.